Hi, I'm Richard Lloyd-Jones with Dr. Claudia Bernhard Pacheco, and welcome to another edition of Healing Through Consciousness. You know, our show originates from Sao Paulo, Brazil, specifically from the studios of the International Society of Analytical Trilogy. And Analytical Trilogy is the name given to a vast and comprehensive science elaborated by a remarkable Brazilian psychoanalyst and social scientist named Norberto Kepi. Now, what's the basis of this science, and why in the world is this of interest to you? Well, essentially what Kepi has done is clarify the nature of man, of human beings, and shine the light on our psychological life, which can end up sounding kind of theoretical. So let me try to illustrate its relevance. What passes for psychological analysis in our world today is most often not psychological at all. We see a lot of biological treatment of difficulties. Oh, you're feeling a little depressed? It's probably the chemicals in your brain that are a little out of whack. You got a weight problem? Sure, just take these appetite suppressors or a little stomach reduction surgery should fix you right up. Or the analysis reverts to social issues. You were traumatized by your music teacher when you were eight. You were humiliated for wetting the bed. All of this, of course, is no news for you if you've been at all tuned in to the normal psychological interpretations that circulate to explain the myriad problems we face in our stressful modern world. Society tends to see the human being as victimized by something outside his responsibility. Kepi's work is nothing like that. In fact, we could say that he's light years ahead in his psychological view because his therapy is truly psychological. Analytical Trilogy focuses the source of our problems right back inside us, smack dab back to the individual's attitudes and philosophy of life, to how we see the world, not because of our social conditioning only, but because of our often inconscientized decisions about how life is and how things work. And that's why you'll hear interpretations in trilogical psychoanalysis that you don't hear anywhere else and their interpretations that lay the ball in your court in terms of your decisions about how you will live your life or how you're living your life right now. You know, I do a, a podcast that's available on iTunes called Thinking with Somebody Else's Head. Someday I'll explain the name of that program to you, but for now I just want to explain that I explore many of these Kepian themes in that program. Dr. Claudia Bernhard Pacheco was a very frequent contributor to those programs. And, and one listener responded to an analysis we did of his specific problem in this way, and I wanted to quote this kind of as an introduction to our, our program today to give Claudia something to begin our program with today. He wrote to me, he said, Hey, Rich, thanks for doing a podcast on my question. I was very excited to hear Dr. Pacheco respond to my dilemma. It was also very interesting to me that as she began to address my problem truthfully, I began to try to hide from her answer. I felt like a boxer trying to dodge punches coming through my speakers. I didn't want to hear the true answers to the questions I myself had raised. I found this to be yet another revelation into my own inversion. End of the quote. Well, isn't that an interesting revolution? He, a uh, revelation he outlined there. <laughs> Almost revolution too, right, Claudia? And it, it, it highlights the experience we all have here, I think, with trilogical analysis. The problem that we have is much closer to us and much simpler to understand than we think. But we need a very good and competent guide into this expansive psychological life. And Dr. Claudia Bernhard Pacheco offers us that. Our show will really start to sing with your participation. So I want to remind you that our phone lines are open and we would really love to hear from you because this will help Claudia, give Claudia some meat to really respond to in terms of specific things that are going on. You're smiling here, Claudia, because... I'm talking too long or because... I enjoy very much <laughs> this expression, give me meat. <laughs> give me meat on the bone. Give me food, food <laughs> for explaining more. Yeah, yeah this, is, this is absolutely essential, the dialogue, because then resonance starts. Yeah. As soon as we start speaking with another person or to another person, the energetic resonance starts, and then consciousness is much easier. 
And also, Claudia, because uh, trilogy has these principles of envy and inversion, some of these principles, you don't really understand them until you start to face your own yeah. personal problems. Right? Yeah. These are universal concepts that were taken from particular examples. Like right. Cappy uh, discovered everything he, he discovered through the analysis of his patients one by one in the couch and them speaking and him analyzing every specific situation. Right. So when a person comes and lie down in the couch or when they call by telephone because we have people calling to analysis by phone from Europe, from United States, from other countries. So when they call, they generally are lying down somewhere and very silently um, comfortably speaking about their problems, uh, they must be very practical and right. bring practical situations right. in order to understand. But something I would like to add to your opening today, Richard, you, you mentioned about analytical trilogy or integral psychoanalysis being the only psychological psychology, yeah. the, the only true psychological psychoanalysis which sees the main source of all problems in the inner life of individuals, right. even society, even social problems, they are the result of attitudes that people take, adopt, without really fully understanding. And this is something also that I would like to mention, that Dr. Kepi developed the first and the only true scientific study of the psychopathology of the people in power. Yeah, this is great. This is great. Yeah. That's the book that brought you here, never my been friend. Done. Yeah. So, liberation of the people. This uh, study has never been done. Yeah. So, liberation of the people, pathology of power. There we understand the psychopathology, the psychological problems that lead people in power to do the mess they are doing to humanity. So, people generally think that people in power they are more balanced, they are more capable, they are more intelligent, we need them to direct our lives, and in the majority of the cases, it's the other way around. Totally upside down understanding of the, the powerful people. Because a person to search so much for power, and in, in mostly for economic power, financial power, must be very sick, mentally sick. Mm. And this uh, reminds me what Kepi wrote in his books about the application of the phases of development that first were um, discovered. It's a theory of Ferenczi, a famous psychiatrist. From Hungary, I think, right? Yeah, he was a, from German, German language. German language. And he, he studied the phases the, that uh, um, Freud used and also even Melanie Klein Klein, another psychoanalyst, uh, used in his uh, psychoanalytical studies that it, there are three phases in the development of the human being. The oral phase, which is from zero to two years. And, oh, the, the, when the child from zero to two, right. it's oral phase. An so, oral phase, they put things in their mouth, they want to experience the world through their... And they bite mother's breasts yeah. and they, they put the finger... Uh, on the mouth, and they suck the finger, etc., etc. Right. And this is a stage that is um, uh, indicating that you search for uh, this oral, oral um, structure, yes, structure right. of your body is the most sensorial. It's the the most pleasant kind of experience for the child. 